Welcome to Clay Sports. Coming up, Girl Power, the Femme Fatales take part in our quick fire round. Capital of Wales. Cardiff. Wales doesn't have a capital, does it? <laughs> Oops. Aaron Heading is under pressure in our new series, Challenge Aaron. He holds up the crop. First, the CLA Game Fair isn't just about barbers and boots, it's also very, very popular for the clay shooters. So much of clay shooting is in the mind. You will not hit any orange clays. Here, Mark, Essex master, Windsor is messing with Andy's. They're about to shoot the Driven Grouse Flush, which is part of the clay line at the Game Fair 2015. Over the years, the shooting line has expanded into a clay extravaganza. A whole range of competitions being staged, appealing to all standards of clay shooter. There's the Champion of Champions and the City Shots Challenge. This attracts teams from all sectors of the industry and is being taken very seriously. There's pride on the line. You know, I like the guys that came on and said, you know, no gear, no idea. But of course we know better than that and uh, I think all these people you know love to shoot and uh, probably do a lot of game shooting but it's great to see them all having a go. The play line itself I think it's gone very very well I mean we're gr it's great having John Bidwell of course as you know he's seven times world champion he's here does a lot of the organization and it's great to see him shoot and I hope the public are enjoying it in fact I'm sure they are. We're following Team Femme Fatale. The all-girls squad are looking to give some of those other teams a metaphorical bloody nose in the two 50-bird flushes. Are you the ringer? Um, that's what they're saying. Let's see. <laughs> see what happens. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah. There are two rounds and the Harwood Estate team have put in a good show. Stratton Parker seems to understand the importance of teamwork in this type of competition. For those of you who haven't heard of Femme Fatales, it's a group of like-minded women who love their shooting and are able to encourage others to get involved in the male-dominated world of clay sports. Rachel Carey was one of those involved at the start, and she can't believe how it's been received. We started Femme Fatale with the view of thinking, right, let's make shooting look a bit edgy, a bit cool, maybe a bit glamorous. Um, and it's working, because we've, I mean, we've got in excess of 3,000 members. 5,000 people signed up to the website um, for news and we're now having to hold, well, nationwide events. Um, and we first set out to just hold them locally to us. So we're actually taking on people to ambassadors to put events on all around the country for us. It's just completely spiralled into, into something so big. What's great to see is the crowd. There's loads of support for the City Shots Challenge and the clay line in general. Maybe, as this show proves, clay sports can attract an audience and a following. This is definitely what shooting needs more of. Um, people say it's not a spectator sport, but I think it is. I think you can, people, you see the crowd getting excited when the clays are breaking, so it's a good, uh, a good way to showcase clay sports at the game fair and to bring the grandstand in, so it was exciting. There are some big names here from the clay and game shooting world. Field Sports magazine is sponsoring two events at either end of the line with two of the best known shots in the country. One is a driven grouse flush. It's called the James, Lord James Percy Challenge. He started off by setting a score at 10 o'clock on the first day. Competitors have to beat it. And at the other end we have Simon Ward doing a high power challenge. Same idea. Would you call the CLA Game Fair shooting line one of the big kind of clay events of the summer? Yes, it is. You know, there's a lot, a lot, there's a lot more shooting on offer to people now than there you ever used to be in some pretty sophisticated shooting grounds. But still, the CLA Game Fair is an institution and people love it. With Lydia playing a major role in Femme Fatales, the girls are, of course, game ball sponsored. And so is Mark Windsor, who's still giving Crow some pre grouse flush coaching. Keep your eyes shut like you did last week. Yeah. And you'll hit them all. That's all I'm saying on the matter. Thanks for that, Mark. No problem. It's all on board. I would recommend putting your shells on the actual front of the grass, but so not in your pocket. Just the access. Yeah, yeah. Um, think on your feet. It's fast. Yeah. Um, you can shoot, mate. You know, you're not going to have any trouble there. Yeah, I wish I. You must be aware of your surroundings because they come from left, right, and they come down the hill at you. So right, okay. Literally keep yourself sharp. Right, right. The thing is, I'm using a gun that I've. Uh, not shot before. Doesn't fit me. It's raining, and as everyone knows, I don't shoot in the rain. 
No, the word on the street is that yesterday's average was 0.6 of a bird from 150 entrants, which has got these guys nervous. He thinks he's going to win a Range Rover. <laughs> Can you put them in last for me, please? Andy? Last. Am I loading for you? Last. Am I loading for you? Yeah, yeah. Mark shoots first. Even with Andy loading, he puts in the best score of the day. 15. It is tricky in the light today from the right hand side that that bird's very difficult to pick up and you don't see it till it's a good 35 yard out so it's it's delaying you on to if, if the light was different today maybe you'd see it a bit quicker so it's, it's very tricky it's a good effort we're gonna go. we've got 15 to beat I set the benchmark so i think i can i can smell the nerves now don't try and measure anything, just think fast and get that gun swinging through. Yeah? Don't try and measure anything, just push away. When this speed, you need that lead straight out. What was the first one? So when you call Paul, I think you see this one first, followed by the incoming. Okay? Right. But just keep your eyes out, look around. Paul! Beat you, mate. Eight score. Eight score. Well done, really Cut. Enjoy that. Thank you. Andy gets a respectable eight. Rachel is having a busy weekend and also puts a score in here too. The rumour is Lord Percy has given her a bit of coaching, but it's neither been confirmed nor denied. She puts in a six, or is that a nine? How would you get Rachel? Um, nine. Nine. Yeah. It depends which, if you look at it that way, it's nine. Yeah. <laughs> it says six. Yeah, it definitely so we'll says nine. 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 Yeah. Back to the sunny end of the clear line, and it's Sporting Guns editor at large, Robin Scott's Time Inc. team that take the title. Clay shoots don't attract many spectators from outside the sport. However, the shooting line at the CLA is our chance to celebrate the sport. It's the biggest public display of affection we can offer, and in 2015, it looked like a very warm, friendly, exciting place to be. To find out about future game fairs, go to gamefair.co.uk. CLA Game Fair. I've instructed there for three days and it's very, very busy. Next, Aaron Heading has to feel the force. Right, let's see what my first challenge is. Aaron, please shoot the target blindfolded. Every time you miss, you will read an extract from Fifty Shades of Grey. My arm's tethered. Bang. Right, one more. Pull. Bang. Right. I can do this. Please do not try this at home. Right, I'm ready. I've seen the targets. Here we go. Pull. Did I hit it? No. Oh, what? That is weird. Biting licks off the crop. Ah, <sighs> how far? Was it far? Was it close? Well, I'll go six foot to the right. 
That's it. I can take no more. Right. Okay. Here we go. I'm miles away, ain't I? Yes, please, sir. Close your eyes. This is harder than I thought. Oh dear, dear, dear. His arms curl around me as my legs turn to jelly. Oh. With this, he holds up the crop. Ow! Did I hit it? Yeah! Hey, more 50 shades for me! <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Looking forward to you wearing your dog collars around your ankles next time. Next up, nothing wrong with being blonde, femme fatales. Hey, I'm Kelly Johnston. I love my shooting and I'm part of Femme Fatale. Hi, I'm Lydia Abdullawi. I work for Game Ball Cartridge Company. I do the marketing and PR for them. Hi, I'm Rachel Carey. I'm uh, kind of a competitive play shooter, <laughs> mostly a hunter. And uh, I've been somehow suckered into doing a quick fire round. Hi, I'm Rachel Wilcock. I am a sporting shooter and I am currently the England team captain. Superman or Batman? Superman. Oh, that's really tall. I think Batman is sexier. Batman. Can I have both? <laughs> I don't have one, I don't cook. Steak and chips. Slow roasted beef with mushrooms, red cabbage and red wine. Beans on toast. <laughs> Mark was saying that. Crocs or flip flops? Flip flops. Flip flops. Flip flops. Crocs, but only to shoot them. Favourite TV show as a child? <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Muppet show. Oh, rainbow. <laughs> City of gold. Don't know where that came from. <laughs> okay, would you rather be abducted by three-eyed Martians or three tentacled mermen? Three tentacled mermen. Mermen, I like the sea. Oh, Martians. Mermen, definitely. How many times did you take to pass your driving test? One. First time. Two. Maybe three. Once. Four. Capital of Wales. Cardiff. Wales doesn't have a capital, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Cardiff. Cardiff? What's the name of your first pet? Uh, Fudge. And it was a hamster. Buster. Rascal. Ferdinand. The Chihuahua. Most embarrassing hobby? Embarrassing hobby? A bit of cross stitch. Do like a bit of sewing. Oh my god, I can't believe I've said that on camera. <laughs> Jazz hands. Who's the most intelligent competitive shot on the circuit? The most intelligent? Is there such thing? Edward Solomons is definitely the most intelligent guy I've ever met. Mark Windsor. <laughs> the most intelligent shooter I know is Charlie Bull. He does cartridges. George Digweed. Got to be clever. Best shooting advice ever given? Um, enjoy it. Nobody's ever given me any advice. I'm just naturally awesome. To ignore all of the advice that the men seem to want to give the females. Um, stick with one coach and, and go with that. Frank Croft, water priory head keeper, told me wherever I go and shoot, to shoot like I'm never going to be invited back. And I never have been invited back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Next, what's coming up in the world of clay shooting? It's Roundup. It's our clay roundup. One minute of what's going on in the world of clay shooting. After three great days at the National Clay Shooting Centre, Peter Blumfield retained his British Open English skeet title. Steve Scott takes our Rio 2016 quota places to five after his win at Gabala in Azerbaijan. George Digweed is up to 26 world championships following the Fitask Parkour de Chasse at the Caribou Gun Club in Lesser, Minnesota. Next year, 2016, the CPSA World English Sporting Championship will be at EJ Churchill between the 20th and the 26th of June. From BICTSF, the Sporting UK Championship and GB Selection Shoot is at Kegworth, Leicestershire on the 22nd to the 23rd of August this year, 2015, while for those after more fluttery clays, the Helice English Championship and First Selection Shoot for 2015 is at Invicta Gun Club in Kent on Sunday the 13th of September. The World Sporting Competition continues with £300, the top prize at the World Sporting Extra Austin shooting ground in Nottinghamshire on Sunday the 20th of September. The competitions are held at four grounds in the UK and Mexico. 
Looking further ahead, and the Professional Sporting Clays Association National Championship start in Texas on Wednesday, the 21st of October. British under 21 and doing nothing on Tuesdays for the rest of August. The Novice Schools Challenge takes place at the Oxford Gun Company throughout the month. Designed for teenagers on their holidays, it's a day of clay instruction with prizes to be won at the end of the month and all for £109. Pressbury Marketing is hosting its annual fundraising shoot for Crime Stoppers on Thursday the 3rd of September in Gloucestershire. If you want more bangs, there is a simulated grouse evening on Friday the 21st of August in Gloucestershire near Winchcombe. Pegs from £199 plus VAT per person. And finally, if you are at a loose end in Texas on the 26th of September and you have both the cash and the inclination, take part in the Remington Great American Shoot for Military Non-Profit Charities. Last year it raised 1.2 million US dollars. If you would like us to tell the world about your charity shoot in September or into the autumn, contact me with details and a picture or video charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We're back again next month.